All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about MacBooks. A lot of people out there think you need the latest and greatest tech in order to accomplish whatever task it is that you have, whether that's video editing, photo editing, or whatever job that you're doing, they think you need the latest and greatest in order to accomplish that in the most productive and efficient way. What if I told you there's a budget option out there that can give you damn near the same performance that you're getting out of the latest and greatest? And that option is the M3 Pro 14 inch MacBook Pro. All right, so let me talk about why I think this thing is an amazing steal for the price. You can get this thing refurbished on apple.com for $1,500 and this is the base model. So you get 512 gigabytes of storage, which may or may not be enough, but that's why they have external storage options, 18 gigs of RAM, 11 core CPU and a 14 core GPU. And this thing can handle pretty much anything I've been able to throw at it. And I'm a Premiere Pro user and I've had little to no crashes on this thing. And the crashes I don't think come from the laptop, the crashes I think come from Premiere Pro. So take that for what it's worth. And I definitely think for a lot of you out there, again, I don't know everyone's workflow out there, but I, I think this thing could definitely handle what you're gonna throw at it. So let's talk about the build of this thing. This has all the same IO as all the other MacBooks out there. It has three Thunderbolt ports, has an HDMI port, has an SD card port, which a lot of us have come to love and do not ever want Apple to get rid of. And it has a headphone jack, and it is the MagSafe charging system so you don't have to use one of your thunderbolt ports to charge you know i'm a full-time content creator right now i've been able to use this thing for all my personal and business content i've used it for short form content for social media purposes and long form content such as podcasts and event recordings it mostly has never had an issue with any of that content i've thrown at it now it's not 100 percent perfect because no piece of tech is 100 percent perfect but i guess where i would say if there are some shortcomings for this computer it is the 512 gig storage and you know video files and just content in general is getting bigger and bigger so 512 is kind of on that line where it might not be quite enough so that that's one drawback the 18 gigs of ram i like you know it's up from 16 from the m1 pro version but you know the newest versions now have 24 gigs standard so you know that may or may not be a issue for me it hasn't been but maybe another two or three years it might be i don't know we'll have to wait and see what happens so if you're looking for a laptop that's going to be a little bit lighter on the wallet that's going to be able to handle your content creation needs i definitely think you should look into this it's a great option in my opinion but again i can't tell you how to spend your money if you want the latest and greatest by all means go ahead and spend your money on that but i'm just trying to throw this information out there so people can see you know what i don't have to always buy the latest and greatest tech out there i can get my needs met with something that's a little bit cheaper that's going to get the job done so i can go out there and create and have fun and do what i need to do personally and professionally anyways guys hope you enjoyed the video we'll see you at the next one